for me, Dancing While Black is about a fullness of representation that I want to see in the world. Dancing While Black is an influence of an awesome state of power that deals with measurement, properties, and the relationship to points, lines, angle, surfaces, and solids. It's a spiritual movement that passes through my veins and runs through my body, my body that creates movement. It carries a unique rhythm and pulse. For me, it has been my liberator, my motivator, my educator, my provider, my love. It's expansion and reflection. It's illumination and contraction. Dancing while black is probably not any different than doing anything else while black. It's not a choice, it's a state you're given alongside of an inheritance of invariant actions of quantitative expressions that remain constant throughout a certain range of constructs. It's dancing without shackles on body, emotions, mind, or spirit. It's against the majority. It's the product of Dutch colonial orgasm. It's a test of the emergency broadcasting system. See something, say something bubbles that became nooses and bloody skittles when choking fresh air into the space where you know who you are and continue to imagine the world that can be. It is about how do I make representation of my world given what I've been given. It's collecting and dispersing our energies. It's history and future and intersectionality. It is freedom. I move to be free. I move to feel. I move to celebrate. I move to celebrate the dreams and the hopes of my past. More than all of this, Dancing While Black, is a perlius responsibility of telling and retelling the story of myself as the heroine, as the gallant one, the martyr, the saint, the protagonist, the villain, the scoundrel, the offender, the brute, and the battered. It is not my everything, but it is my thing. It's me and we. I think Muhammad Ali said that one time, me and we, and I think yeah, Dancing While Black is about where the me and the we intersect.